On a daily basis, my job involves looking after the weight and measurement of the Britannia 2 and making sure that we keep track of weight, generally just sort of day-to-day -day jobs that are associated with sailing. The rule for the weight is split into three areas. So the first area is the hull itself, the appendages, the rig and the mainsail. Next up then is the head sails, where we have again, we have a limit, but there is some ballast provision to allow you to be a little bit flexible within the rule. The final one is the crew and the crew weight. Foils are also set to a maximum limit. So actually, if you look at the boat in its first weight range, 50% of that is set by the rule. And suddenly you're looking at having a lot less flexibility than a boat that's already pushing quite hard on the weight in the first place. <laughs> the team being great, everyone buys into the weight here, and I'm delighted to say that's followed it all the way through from concept to build, to maintenance, to all that design. And so every level has always to do with like, can it be lighter? You know, it's important to understand if can you save weight here? You don't want to build a part that's too light to quickly fail. You know, so you're starting to knock on the door of reliability and stuff like that. And it's all about pulling together and getting the understanding and working for the best outcome in that, in that respect. Um, the reality is that there is no magic bullet. There isn't something you can take off. These boats are designed and built to the extremes. Um, so really it's a case of actually nibbling bits off here and there and working out what you can and can't go away with. So it comes down to compromise, trying to stay positive, having a measured approach. It actually starts with a meeting with the design team where we review the weights from our first boat and then we set targets at the beginning of the concept stage. We assign those targets to various departments. Well, it's a constant dialogue, checking the weights periodically and making some reporting back to the design team as well to say this is where we're at. Like the grinding area on this boat is one of my favourite parts because it's so well laid out. Everyone's had buy-in from the sailors through to the systems guys, the design guys. And I really like it because actually you look at that, that area and you can't really see where you would save weight.